Hola de nuevo, vamos a seguir con, con esto. Casi donde dejé ayer, ayer es que por un fallo mío no grabé las conversaciones con el presidente de Estados Unidos, pero bueno, ya os resumo que es básicamente que, no, que cree que somos los intérpretes que tienen que venir y... Y bueno, vamos a seguirle el juego porque el presidente está en sus 13. Así que voy a ver si, si consigo algo para avanzar en la trama. Vamos aquí a ver a Civil. Este personaje a cada capítulo cambia de trabajo. Servicio de citas. A ver. A ver si un servicio de citas. Me preocupa tu carros. <risa> un gato es muy conveniente si no tienes un talón de anuncios. I wonder what future archaeologists will learn from our most sacred treasure that you can watch 250 channels and there's still nothing good on. Go ahead, next caller. You're on Love Talk with Dr. Feelnice. Hey, keep away from my intercom. Do you guys want to submit an application for my dating service? That depends. How extensive are your background checks? Some other time, Max. <laughs> Otro momento. Romance is a lot like this cactus. Sharp and prickly at first, but worth the effort for the miracle of life at its core. I was thinking more fake and unappealing, but your answer's good too. Hey, Sybil. What's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? <laughs> Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for me. Siempre encuentro trabajo perfecto para ella. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! <laughs> they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken. It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys with a little history to them are such a turn off. Oh, and tall men. And distinguished. And he should be experienced. All right, enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. I thought she was talking about me. Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? I mean, sure. Why not? Stranger things have happened, I guess. They must have, somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended by that. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. Esto es importante en la trama porque si encontramos un personaje que sea un señor mayor, alto y... Y bueno, vamos a hacer un lío. This is it. What could be a better job than helping people find their perfect match? Volcano God. Good point. I'll stick to the dating business though. How many couples have you managed to escort to romantic bliss? So far, none. None is the loneliest number. But I got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups. And a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. So we have something to look forward to. How's business? Slow right now, but those applications are going to start coming in at any moment. See you around, Sybil. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. 
That's where I do video intros for my dating service. Why is the door locked? It's locked? Damn it. I don't even have a key to that door. <laughs> Nothing useful in here. And it's getting late. Hey, Sam. If it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? <laughs> That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Y siempre se vuelve tarde cuando se vuelve pronto. <risa> Ay, porras, que no le el cartel. <risa> bueno, ahí viste esos trabajos que tuvo. with the mail is a federal offense punishable by fine and imprisonment as we found out after the incident with the garden hose ah memories <laughs> dead end one way dead end street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition fin de trayecto Nuestro cartel que luego decía más fin de trayecto, un sentido único, es una metáfora de la vida humana. Vamos a un poco con la música, parece que está muy alta para entender los fotos. Ostras, a ver si me puedo llevar uno. It's the army's new recruiting slogan. That's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? Apparently, there's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. <laughs> pues me lo llevo. Este va a ser útil para la campaña electoral. Spend the bottle championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. <risa> Gira la botella con contra el molotov, desde luego. Si me da Bosco. Uy. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. Hey, a free home delivery sign. <laughs> Esto va a ser útil. The sign's not free, but oh, my book is. Whoa, look, Max. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. Who has that kind of time? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, Hugh Bliss? Why, I'm spreading the great news about Christmatology! Oh, what the that? science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being? Now translated into 15,000 different languages. Including Esperanto. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. He's right. I've tried. <laughs> no puedes poner un precio al amanecer o a la risa un niño y dice. Más, eh, tienes razón. Lo intenté. <laughs> What was your book about again? Emetics? The Handbook for Multicolored Happiness? It's about everything. And nothing at all! Oh! Show us a magic trick, you Bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are... Yeah, yeah, less chatter, more magic. <laughs> Menos charra, más magia. How about I disappear? Well, 
your mind reading is obviously still working. It is! <laughs> now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone. Bueno, ya que no está. Hey, a free home delivery sign. Para mí el letrero. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Can you disappear again? I want to figure out how you did it. It's easy, Sam. I take all the colors from my surroundings and spin them into a great big. Okay, yeah, I was just being polite. I don't care how you do it. Okay. <laughs> President appoints action figure as Secretary of Defense. That is pretty crazy. Well, at least it was an action figure of John Shaft. Oh, I can dig it. Novelty gumballs, shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Fool your friends, annoy your grandparents. <laughs> Takes me back to my childhood. Pues nada, voy a ver la tienda de Bosco. Creo que este juego está disfrazado de ruso. <laughs> Shaken, Bosco. Ah, greetings, comrade dog and rabbit. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha <laughs> ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Boskovorsky, Russian proprietor of workers' glorious warehouse of inconvenience. No? No. But now I make new start in America, which I love. So it's no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me. <laughs> que no te falta apuntar, Megón. <laughs> Porque sea ruso. Es que luego en la trama se, se ve cada cosa. What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? He's perfectly natural, comrade. I work with your American government in spirit of glasnost. They know, they know. Who knows what? The feds, man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all the time. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. <laughs> Una forma de romper el cuarto muro. Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um, just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new start in America, which I love. So there's no need to target me. I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds. He's the people, comrade. Workers will overthrow fascist regime. <laughs> All are welcome. Come day of victory, workers will unite to bring downfall of corrupt administration. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. No, he's all true. Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. <laughs> Que luego tendrá importancia en, en posteriores capítulos. Missile defense system? Isn't that more than a little bit overkill? Yes, we are strong like bear against attack. I'm working on modifying BTS part D. Your anti-delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store, so I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. So now anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? It's small price to pay for freedom. <laughs> Pequeño precio para la libertad. We want to buy something. Da, it's evil but necessary private enterprise. What do you got? His most glorious invention, comrade. Is useful for how you say questioning. Questioning. His true serum makes easy, even the most difficult, how you say, interrogation. Interrogation. True serum? Is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks, or does it actually work? Both. <laughs> make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling, uh, how you say, uh, complete and honest truth. Your accent sucks. Hey, it's already working. See... Uh no sé, no sé si eso era un, uno de tus combinados químicos absurdos que luego funcionan. 
A ver. We'd like that truth serum, comrade Boscovich. It's good. Price is 867.5309 rubles. How much is that in real money? 100 million dollars. I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Boscovorsky. Fall of Berlin Wall brings great strength to our economy. <laughs> Isn't that a little pricey for truth serum? It's bargain. It really does work, and I haven't even tried it yet. Sam, this morning I used your toothbrush. Results are guaranteed. I used it to clean out my ears. This is refreshingly liberating. Besides, I need the money to complete my satellite defense system. I needed to clean out my ears because I've been rummaging through. Okay, I've heard enough. We'll take that truth serum. It's yours for only 100 million American dollars. I seem to have left my 100 million dollars in my other suit. We'll be back. <risa> Tengo un millón de dólares en otro traje, volveré. Do you have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yeah. Do you have any souvenir snow globes from the mystery vortex? Yeah. Do you have any lobster pots brand cereal? Yeah. Do you have any Tagalog rhyming dictionaries of bridge? Yeah. <risa> Respuesta de siempre. Do you have any wiener cozies? Da. We just get shipment of those in this week. Let me look. Oh boy! Wait, did you say wiener cozies? I thought you said Navajo blankets. No, we're all out of wiener cozies. But yeah. Do you have any Navajo blankets? Yeah. Do you have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yeah. Nothing for us right now. Something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jock straps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of sulfur. Keep it down, guys. You're scaring off the other customers. What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. It's good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty friend. See you later, Bosco. He's no Bosco, comrade. He's only loyal worker, Bosco Vorsky, who is no threat to glorious American government whatsoever. <laughs> no thanks. I brought my lunch today. Are these weenies beef or pork? Or woolly mammoth meat? Están más caducados para tus calientes. Foamy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. I think it's the tinge of green. Perdón por el corte, pero requerían de mí en casa. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. Lo típico, no usar un aparato eléctrico durante mucho tiempo y luego la batería dice hasta que llegamos. Mustard and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. <laughs> Free toilet brush. I'm sold. Use toilet brush. I'll pass. Ha usado. <laughs> Encima. Bueno, pero esto se lo tengo que pasar a para Freeman. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush. I'm sold. <laughs> Ooh, fun. <laughs> Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. <laughs> Chilled and preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Y una cámara de seguridad dentro del frigorífico. <laughs> Yo os digo, este personaje es un paranoico. Vamos a ver. 
La oficina tendré algo. Es que estoy atascado. Hasta tanto que lo jugué. Yo os digo, Obama no era presidente cuando salió este juego. salió cuando había campaña electoral en Estados Unidos como ya ahora mismo otra vez The donut box is a happy reminder of a bygone era specifically last July <laughs> Pero cuánto tiempo lleva ahí esa caja de 2002 was a great year for calendars I'm glad we stocked up We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then Ah yes I remember Otra interrupción en casa We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Our thugs and hoodlums file cabinet is almost full. Can I help it if I come from a large family? This chart pile of scraps serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. <laughs> It's our favorite shifty card cheat, Leonard Steak Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? Where's that stand? Good, good. Hola, buenas noches. Bueno, volveré a la Casa Blanca. A ver si se me ocurre algo. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Hello. Is anyone there? Hello. Hello. Is it pure as Dona? Vaya eficiencia. No, sir. I said ah, mira, ya vinieron estos. It's a very important issue. Was I? No, comprende, son. But I'm speaking English. Ah, are, are you two fellas the interpreters? It's about time. Darnest thing, we just had a couple imposters in here. They had ringers for you two. Were they walking around examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? <laughs> Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. Oh no, momento, por favor. Patient <laughs> little guy, ain't he? What's new, wizard? That's Governor Wizard. Thank you very much. What are you the governor of? The 51st and greatest state, West Dakota. Don't you guys read the papers? Just the funnies. You <laughs> <can be laughs> so obituaries, <laughs> Max. Potato, potato. We're a young state, but with our own rich traditions that make us a distinct tourist destination, apart from the north and south. How did you get into politics? I won the election. <laughs> It was a very close race. But I totally won the popular vote. Was it a runoff election? You see what I did there? Runoff? Because he's wizard? <laughs> You're still the master of fourth grade gutter humor, Max. What were your qualifications for office? 
I'm a television celebrity. Now there's a platform I can get behind. Típico, igual que Pablo Iglesias. <risa> igual que Schwarzenegger. Igual que. ¿Quién más? Algún otro habrá por ahí. Ese famoso, votadme. No típico. We're ready to interpret for you. Don't tell me the president needs the interpreter. What did he say, Sam? I'm speaking English. I don't even have an accent. Can't understand a word. <laughs> What brings you to the Oval Office? I'm trying to build up nationwide support for the MRSAPP. Who's Mr. Sapp? And why didn't you want me to know you were talking about him? I can spell, you know. It's the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program. It's totally changed my life. I've been carbonation free for over four weeks now. Tell us about the MRSAPP. Be brief. I started the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program after I became governor to help people get flat like me. But if we can't get federal funding, people all over the Dakotas are going to get right back on the pop. I don't work in the prevent you contra el consumo de bebidas with no sense of self control. Bebidas estas. Oh right, never mind. Good luck with that, Wiz. Vamos, esta cabrón de tipo Coca-Cola, tipo Fanta. Y gas y Pepsi. Eso, bebidas con gas. Eso. So you really kicked the soda habit, huh? And how? Back when I was on the pop I was in a real downward spiral. That endless cycle of always looking for my next fizz, then having to take time out for number one. Then I saw that documentary about Peanut Franklin, and it convinced me I didn't want to be just another self-destructive former child star. Peanut Franklin, the lovable star of Mixed Nuts who was found in a seedy Hollywood motel room dead of anaphylactic shock? What you mean you ain't got no jelly? Still too soon, Max. Are you sure you wouldn't like a nice cold soda? Gee, thanks. I'll take a... Whoa, no! Stay strong, wizard. You control the bubbles. The bubbles don't control you. Stop talking about soda, will ya? Stop talking about the crisp, clean taste or the effervescent fizz as it pours over ice into a frosty glass? All of it. I've been completely flat for over a month now. I can't go back to the way I used to be. I just can't. We're ready to interpret for you. Don't tell me the president needs the interpreter. What did he say, Sam? I'm speaking English. I can't. See you around, wizard. Hello, Mr. President. We're ready to interpret for you. All right, let's get this party started. <laughs> Mr. President, my fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country. The scourge of soda. Many former pop heads like myself the cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no hope. I don't know what you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you, how long can this epidemic continue? What was that? He said. <laughs> What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Aha, uh -huh. I know what you need. And ice cold orange sugar fizz. I swear by <laughs> No, that's not what I want at all. I must resist. But I am thirsty. And just one couldn't hurt. Frosty cold and so delicious. All the progress I've made. They were about to give me my five-week pin. I almost feel bad about this. <laughs> I don't have a conscience, Sam. What's your excuse? Casi me siento mal por esto. Oh, blessed angels of carbonation, fill me with your syrupy nectar. Ew. Yeah, now I'm not so much guilty as repulsed. Keep it coming. More! I need more! I need... I need a bathroom! Which way is the bathroom?
Which way is the war room? It's that door right over there. But I don't... Oh, thank you. Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> You've got a priority red number two here in the Oval Office. No, it's just number one. Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation. Come with me, sir. Básicamente esos juegos son de de ser más cabrón que los demás, como se las gráficas antiguas. ¿Qué dijo? Bueno, voy a cortar la partida ya. Ahora a despertar el hipnotismo. Now it's time for some checks and balances, freelance police style. Max, will you do the honors? Gladly. Look it, fellas. My fingertips look like little tadpoles. Toma. They just don't make these guys like they used to. That's no guy, Max. It's a damned ugly puppet. Ah, the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eyes. But silly me, I thought hypnotizee, not hypnotizer. What? Yes. An ingenious device being used to hypnotize the TV watching public. But who was controlling him? It's gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation room. What? What have you done? He was like that when we got here. <laughs> so these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Ninjas. Sam did it. Still. Ratings from the last State of the Union address were even lower than reruns of Midtown Cowboys. I didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon, but now that these idiots have forced my hand... Uh, we're standing right here. We can hear everything you're saying. It's time for a leader that people will have to listen to. Agents Jackson, Burr, and Degambe, we are moving the timeline forward. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. Y de esto viene el título del juego. La estatua de Lincoln cobra vida. Bueno, es un robot. Not quite the reaction I would have expected from a secret service agent discovering two people over the decapitated body of the president. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the Wait, what's that noise? Scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the stars' homes. Yeah! They've reanimated America's most beloved president. I always thought Taft was shorter. Not Taft, you deficient. My fellow Americans, I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious interpreters. <laughs> But turn not to fear and despair. I have returned to guide us through this troubled time. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. I'll get it! What's that? Uh-huh. Lincoln Memorial. Right. Hydraulic motors and robotic implants. Yes. Okay. I see. We're on it. Wrong number? That was the commissioner, Max. If this new Mecha Lincoln wins the emergency election, the nefarious forces controlling him will have unchecked power to destroy the entire free world. I hate when they do that. That's why one of us is going to have to run against him. You got to answer the phone. Okay, fair's fair. Max, we're going to make you the next president of the United States. La que liamos, menos candidato. Creo que lo voy a dejar aquí. Y no sé si continuaré o... O mejor, descubrirlo por vosotros. Igual hago un vídeo más, no lo sé, pero... Os animo a jugarlo.